Hey everyone, welcome back to EKRC. Eek! Today I want to talk about bearings and why you need to use bearings in Tamiya kit. As you can see here, there's a brass bushing instead of a bearing. This is a TTO2, uh, actually a TTO2B, and you'll see the gear on the right is the one that's worn down. The one to the left is brand new, obviously. It's a ring gear that's on the diff. And you can see from the chassis that right here, you see all the plastic shavings. That's not dirt, that's actually grease mixed with the plastic shavings because they did not use bearings on the diff. They used bearings on the wheels, in the hubs, everywhere else, but you know, even on the drive shaft, but they did not use it on this ring gear, uh, on the differential assembly. And you can see the movement here because that's where the plastic shavings came from. It came from this ring gear. Now normally there's no play, no movement. And this is why it's essential to use bearings in a Tamiya kit. This kit is not that old. It wasn't really run that much, and I'll show you the tires in a little bit. You can see that it was just too much, you know, too much friction that wore this down. You can see, take a look at this, and then I'll show you the new one. You can see for yourself. I still don't understand why they do not include bearings in their kits. Well, in the lower end kits, I guess I understand you're, you're getting a lot for your money, but some of these kits are just over $100 US. But you can see this brass pushing is junk. So goodbye, and we are going to use some new plastic gears and some bearings, and it should give this much longer life. Because I'm going to put in brand new ring gears. I've been rebuilding this for a little bit. I took it all apart and I'm replacing the, the parts that need to be replaced. But as you can see, it wore down this gear because of all the play and all the movement, the gears were slipping. And like I said before, you can see that these wheels are not, these tires are not really worn down much at all. The rear a little more than the front. You can see there's some flat spots where the spikes were. But this was not used that much. And probably because the gears were slipping, there was all that movement and play and wearing down of the plastic parts. It probably made it hard to drive or impossible to drive and nobody wants to fix it. So you must use bearings. Please use bearings. I'm begging you to use bearings in your Tamiya kit. The number one upgrade you need to make if your kit does not come with bearings is bearings. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.